I hate it cause it's every day Read the first count I'm making up my own mistakes I'm hoping that I'll be replaced Hello, good morning friends. It is Tuesday morning. I cannot believe that it's not hot today. The weather is absolutely amazing. if you surround me I need you now, can you be around me? Oh baby, I'm afraid if you nothing I know that you can make me feel something Don't tell me that you're not good for me You don't know the half of me I hate being around me Even if you're not okay and even if it's every day Just take the time to fix mistakes I know you'll be okay I hope you'll never be replaced I feel alone even if you surround me I need you now, can you be around? Thank you for being here this week. This week I'm going to start out with The Art of Racing on the Rain by Garth Stein. Uh, this is incredibly heartbreaking. It is very, very emotional, especially if you do own a dog. If you're a pet owner, it does take us through the point of view of a dog. We read all his emotions and all his feelings. The first chapter, we do get to know that the dog is dying and he doesn't have any more energy to do a lot of things. His bones hurt. On the last page of the first chapter, he already knows that his owner, whose name is Denny, um, is unfortunately going to take him to the vet. And he does let us know that his owner has done so much for him and that he owes him the gift of setting him free. Danny, who is the dog's owner, he is a race car driver and he understands that the techniques needed on the racetrack can also be used to successively navigate everyday life. I'm barely on page 66. I'm gonna try to finish it today. It does have 309 pages. In 
that's when I know. We have done it. The clerk asks each juror to state their individual vote. Hello, my friends. Uh, today is Friday. About a week that I don't that I haven't continued this vlog, so I'm just gonna update you guys really fast with my readings. What the hell is going on? Today is Friday, July second. I haven't even started a vlog for the new month, which I usually do. I have around like four more days of my summer vacation. Also, I have also been applying to different jobs because. I just feel like it's time for a change. I'm that kind of person that gets kind of tired of the same job um, within the three years. So I have been applying to jobs. I have been looking at a universities to do my credentials. And for those of you who are new, I did get a bachelor's degree in liberal studies with a concentration in Spanish. But I do want to be an elementary bilingual teacher. And with that, I will be teaching students who are learning both English and Spanish. But first I have to take my CBEST and the CBEST is basically an exam that you have to take that tests you on basic skills like mathematics, language arts. That's what I'm going to be doing the rest of the year. I think the exam is on September but because of COVID they've been pushing it back like so many times. So those are some things that I've been doing lately. But yeah, I did finish reading The Art of Racing in the Rain. I don't think I updated you guys with this book, but I did rate it a three out of five. Obviously the book is told in the point of view of a dog and then he shifts the whole story and starts talking about when he met his master. Basically the whole theme of the story is comparing like racing to life. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it did bore me at times because I'm not a person that really enjoys racing and cars and stuff, but it was an enjoyable read. Yeah, that's pretty much all what I have to say about this book. I did finish reading Know My Name by Chanel Miller for our book club pick and our meeting is tonight, so I'm getting ready for that. I just felt like I couldn't breathe throughout the whole novel, the whole memoir. So it was very devastating. It was very deep. I think that everyone needs to read this book just because of how touching, how just one simple person tells their story. And especially when she talks about her family and the after events that occur to her during the trials and everything. Everything was so devastating. And I cried a couple of times. I did not want to get them on the camera because I just feel like it was a moment where... Um, I was just reading the memoir and it was just me and Chanel, her telling me her story. I feel like it doesn't deserve a rating for a lot of survivors out there that um, wanted Chanel Miller to get justice and she's just very brave and I really liked the ending. Um, I think it was the most emotional part because she writes letters to the people who showed her, her support and who were there during the whole situation. The crime of sexual assault depended on our silence, fear of knowing what happened if we spoke. There are a lot of women out there who have gone through sexual assault and um, they don't come out 
because of fear of knowing what happened if they spoke. A lot of people will call them liars, tell them that it happened a long time ago. Why are you barely speaking up? Please, please, please make an effort to read this one. I'm very proud that we picked it for our book club. Thank you so much for watching and hope you have a wonderful weekend. But yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye.